Hey friends, welcome. Today is T minus 16 days and counting. You're inside my garage, which is becoming a video studio, slowly but surely. But not for long, folks. When this weather gets stable again, we're moving out of this place. Besides that, my stepson Zach owns all this now, so he's gonna kick me out eventually anyway. Just saying. Hey guys, I'm gonna set up the studio for tonight's video. I'll catch up with you in just a minute. See ya. All right, friends, I'm all set up. I had to raise the bar a little bit. It's always good to challenge yourself. So don't ever get stuck in a rut, folks. You gotta raise the bar. But in this case, I raised this bar because I didn't want this knot to fall out of the picture down below. See, folks, this is kind of an interesting knot that I'm gonna teach you tonight. This knot is called, well, wait a minute. Before I can tell you anything at all about this knot, I gotta do something about this annoying green screen behind me. Bang. How's that? Do you like that? Will that work? I don't think so. Let's try another one. Bang, bang. No, that won't work either. Here we go. Whoosh. There we go. I like that. So what are we doing here tonight? Oh yeah. This knot right here is called an axle hitch. It's called an axle hitch. It's not a knot. It's a hitch, folks. Don't get confused. This is an axle hitch. And the reason it's called an axle hitch is probably because it was used to tie ropes to the axle of a vehicle um, for towing purposes. It's an easy to tie knot. It's an easy to untie knot. It takes a heavy load and uh, it does not slip, folks. Now, it could also be called an axle knot because the rope is axial. Uh, it, it, you could tie it to a device that is long. And by doing so, you distribute the weight of your tow force on this axle or this axis, if you will. So, I don't know. That's my attempt at science, <laughs> folks. Sorry. Anyway, um, now, you could use this for tying off uh, onto heavy pipes, heavy logs. Uh, you know, if, you, uh, if you're just afraid of putting all your force into one point on this load, this is a good nut. It'll distribute the load in half at these two points, right? Okay. Now, I'm gonna show you right now how to tie this knot. Did I just say knot? I meant hitch. Let me show you how to tie this hitch, folks. Okay, all right. First of all, here's the easy to untie part of this whole thing. It just, it just melts away like butter. Just, just like that. It's just, just, just. So to tie this knot, um, I am starting with a long tail. I'm going from about the top of my head down to mm, just above my ankles with this. I have the working end over here. This is the end with the tail. We normally call this the tail. This is the standing end over here. You bring your bite of this rope up over the axle. You can see my duct tape, can't you? There we go. Now, the longer you make this bite, the farther apart you can distribute the load when you're done. Do you see what I'm saying? See that? You have all kinds of room now to distribute this load. In my case, I'm going to leave it a little bit closer together so that this knot is not as... <laughs> Did I just call it a knot? I'm nuts about knots. It's not a knot. It's a hitch, folks. I don't want this hitch to be so long that you can't see it going down to the bottom of the picture frame here. Now, so we start off by bringing this loop over and the standing end and the working end behind it and just pinch those together like that. The next thing you need to do is you grab this tail. You go around the back side, you come through the V. Tighten that down right there. Don't stop there though, folks. Come through again. Two loops through that V. This will choke off these two bites right here and allow them to not slip. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your standing end back here and you are going to make a loop like that. Then you're gonna take your tail and pass it through the loop like that from the back to the front. See that? Take your tail around the back side 
like that, form a bite in your tail like this, and push it back through the loop. Now dress this up. Put some tension on it, dress this up up here. And what you have now is an equalized load on this axis. Angie, what do you think of this? I mean, it's cool, isn't it? There's a bunch of coolness about this. I can think of at least four coolness points. Coolness point number one, it's pretty easy to tie. You gotta admit. I mean, you do this a few times and you'll have it down pat. That's coolness factor one. Coolness factor two is that it distributes the force of the load. That's a very cool thing. Don't you think, Angie? What do you think? The other thing I like about this is it just, it will not slip. It's a secure knot, folks. It's not gonna roll out. It doesn't get too tight. Very nice. Wouldn't you say, Angie? The other thing is, coolness factor number four, easy to untie. Release the load, pull on this little guy right here, just yank it out like that. And this thing just is smooth as butter, folks. Look at it, look at it, look at this. It just comes out just like that. Run it through again, it just comes out just like that. Now watch what, oops, I got my, <laughs> it's pretty easy, isn't it? I got myself tangled. Just go like this, take it through there like that. Look, look, it just falls off like butter. You guys need to try this knot. You need to play with it a little bit, have some fun with it, do some work with it. And let me know in the comments what you think of this knot. I think it's a very cool knot. So folks, there you have it. That is another video in the T-minus 47 days and counting series until April 2nd. These are the videos I promised to do for 47 straight days. Folks, I'm flying by the seat of my pants. I need ideas. I do. I, I'm winging it every time I come out here. I really am. So, But hey, guys, I've been enjoying the comments. Wow, what a hoot in the comments going on lately. Uh, a lot of participation, a lot of good, interesting thoughts and comments in there. A lot of kindness floating around, a lot of love saturating those comments and all that kind of stuff. It's really cool. If you're not a subscriber, please consider it. I don't know why. You might want to though. I don't know. I'm supposed to say that because I'm putting a YouTube video up. And the other thing I'm supposed to say is give me a thumbs up if you like it. If you give it a thumbs down, I don't know. If you're here, why not give it a thumbs up? Anyway, so um, that's it folks. Nothing else. That's it for the night. I'm My brain is toast right now and uh, that's all I have for you. All I can say though on a real serious note, <laughs> it's hard for me to be serious, it is. I, I just have so much fun doing this with you guys. But seriously speaking, you guys are wonderful. You really are. You encourage me, you keep me moving, you motivate me. Uh, I, can, I can feel the love and the kindness exuding from the comments and a lot of you I have not even met face to face yet. That's gonna happen sometimes folks. We're gonna, we're gonna get together, I know we are. So. Spread that love and kindness around in your area. Spread it, spread it to other people, people you don't know. Change their lives. Rock their world with it. Would you please? I'll see you at T-minus 15 days. Bye.